Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we have another box from Knife Subscription Club. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you do ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, let's do it. All right, so we got Knife Subscription Club. And as always, if you are interested, I will have a link to them in the description box of this video. You can check them out if you want. They have, what, one, two, three, four boxes that range from a basic that starts at 25 bucks a month down to an ultimate, which is 150 a month. And they do offer three month and six month discounts on these boxes if you want to take advantage of that. And let's see what we got. Well, it's the first thing. And this is interesting. This is, this came, uh, package is broken and now it's gone because it's over the other side of the table. Hopefully it's in here. Let's see. Yes, here it is. Whatever that was. All right, let's just get everything out of this little, this little guy here, which is, that's all of it. And let's see, we got a little card that says monthly knife club there you go and one of the things i do like as i always like is they give you the fictitious values of a lot of the components and they also give you a breakdown list from the advanced the premium the ultimate oh well well okay this is a little bit different let's see monthlyknifeclub.com is where you can find these guys and like I said, when you go to their website, man, they just, they have a ton of different boxes you can subscribe to, which, you know, hey, you might like, you might not like, whatever. We're going to check it out and see what we got. Let's go ahead and look at this thing that was kind of already opened, and it's from UST. It says it's a cutting tool. Let's see, it says Heritage Pocket Cutlery. It is a compact utensil set with a bottle opener. It says compact size uh, for easy storage, durable stainless steel cutlery and wooden handle. It's two inch handy all purpose blade. All right. And there it is. But how does it. Let's see. What am I doing wrong? I'm doing something. I'm doing something wrong. Okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to piece this out of why this blade is not going all the way out like it should, like it does on this side. The little fork comes out just fine, but why won't... Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, so there it is. You have a bottle opener on a key ring, on a, on a little key, or a little loop there. And then on this side, you have a very, very small, like a little fork, and then you have a two-inch long knife. And it's cool because it all folds relatively back up. The knife folds back into the little wooden handle, and then you can put that on your bag or your keychain, and then you have a bottle opener, a little blade, and you have a little... Do they just say that this is a fork? Yes, a three-tine fork. It is a three-tine. Yes, there are three. All right. Okay, so stuff like this. This is UST. It's, it's, I don't know what you guys... What do you guys think about this? Do you think it's cool? Uh, I carry, I don't really have a need for a bottle opener, and I tend to carry, you know, uh, let's see, if you guys have seen any of my other videos, you've seen me open the little, the little knife, the little cutlery sets that I really love, because they work very well, they're very compact, so, that's a thing, so, yeah, okay, so let's see, what do they, what do they say, let's see, Okay, the UST Heritage Pocket Knife. They say that carries a $7.99 price, which 8 bucks. I would probably say that's about right, because stuff like that, you're probably going to be able to find it at, like, Walmart or Academy or, you know, another big box store like that. So that's probably probably right on the mark. The one thing that I don't, I don't like about this box, and this is going to be a big gripe of mine, and I'm pretty sure you guys in the comment section will also agree. If you don't agree, hey, comment, let me know I'm crazy. This right here, this is a monthly knife club, uh, whatever. 
it's 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 just a uh, what do they call it? It's just a morale patch. They call it a morale patch. Okay, but it is Velcro. They include this. Now this is Monthly Knife Club, so this is the company, but they're charging me for this to the tune of eight dollars. Eight dollars for this. Now uh, you can keep that. That's 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 a no go for me. <clears throat> Okay, we have an EDC handkerchief that has sharks on it. Okay. Wow. Okay, this supposedly has a a twenty-one dollar value. Oh, monthly monthly knife club. I don't know what you're doing to me here, man. You're, you're killing me. It's a hanky. It's a hanky. Now I don't know. This is not this is not a uh, net gator or anything like that. So this might actually okay. I'll, I'll, let me just go ahead and say, this is not a net gator. This is literally how big this is. It is a hanky. It it it's way thicker because obviously it's a hanky, right? So I would value this probably more than like a net gator, but. 21 bucks Man, that's 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 high Let's see Micro uh, microfiber backed Hank uh, blah 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 And it says that you can hand wash or delicate cycle air dry But it says you can use it for all kinds of stuff you can use this side which is a microfiber you can use it to clean your glasses, your cell phone, or whatever. But I don't know if I'd want to do that if I was, you know, using it to wipe my nose on this side. I don't know. Maybe this stuff is thick enough that where you won't get any bleed over. Okay, but still, I'm, I'm still going to argue, man. Twenty-one bucks. That's that's kind of high. It's kind of high for for that. I'm still always going to stick, man. Charging me, you know, charge an eight dollar value for this. Something, I, you know, that should have been, you know, this should be like something that, hey, you're subscribing to the box. We'll give you this. I, I'm just going to stay stuck on that. Okay, we got another thing to go on your keychain. This is keychain with purpose, a magnifier. So this is just a magnifier that goes on your keychain, which it's a one inch glass lens. It has five times magnification power. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I just this stuff like this. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't carry it. This, this is not something I'm gonna weigh myself down on my keys with something like this. So I don't know. You guys, let me know. I mean, I mean, are you guys gonna say like, Nah, man, you're wrong, dude. I I carry a magnifier right now on my keys. I don't know. This this just to me, I, I wouldn't carry this, and I probably wouldn't carry this. So I I, I wouldn't carry either one of these things. Maybe on my bag, but let me tell you, in my bag, I carry so much stuff to, like, if I was trying to use this for, I don't know, see, like, their, their, their reasoning to carry this is for map reading, splinter removal, or any task that requires a closer look, all right? I get it, but, but now what you're doing, you are segregating the people that are going to buy this. Because if you're relatively young, you're going to have good eyes. So maybe you can tell me, hey, I don't really need a magnifier to read a map. Now me, I will need it. But will I need it so much, will I have a need so much so that I need to put this on my keychain? No. Because, you know, I can see just fine. But if I am trying to see close up, well, I need something like this. Well, it depends on how tired I am. But the point of this is, this is not something that I'm going to carry. Bottom line, I'm not going to carry something like this. I'm not going to put this on my keychain or on my bag. I'm just, I'm not, just not going to do it. Okay, so that thing has a okay seven dollars. To me, um, I'm okay with that seven bucks. Still not okay with the eight dollars for the morale patch. Still not. Okay, now we got a knife. Which you would think, because this is a knife club, you would hope that every month you would get a knife. And we got a sizzle. AUS-8 steel. Okay, that's that's not bad. Uh, yeah. So, 
This is the knife that they give us for this month. And let's see what they say this thing. They give this a $55.98 price tag. So, as always, guys that, you guys that watch these videos, I'm always amazed at how everybody immediately can look at this stuff and go to and go to Amazon or whatever and they always you guys always leave me the nicest comments to say yes this box you got ripped off because you can buy all this crap for like five bucks and you can tell me in the comment section you know how much you can find this out on on Amazon it is spring assisted so that's that's something at least it is assisted it's an assisted opening knife so let's see let's see what we got here we got Robo quick launch technology so I mean Robo is, is there a little robot in there helping me I will say this, the knife looks cool. It does have a little lock up here to, to unlock. Here, I'll show you. There you go. It has a little lock right here to... And it's actually integrated into the, to the mechanism that kicks the blade out. And it does have a little tab here with some, with some, uh, some, uh, some texturing on it so you can just easily deploy it and it does lock of course and it has some very aggressive like sharp teeth there on it man like that's very aggressive and they're very they're spaced very far apart and in your hand you're not really going to feel them but i tell you these scales are something different you know running long ways when you hold them in your hand you feel them they're very you really get a hold of them and then let's see so the aesthetics here is that you have a back and you start a sweep like it fits right into where your thumb like when you have a grip when you have your grip and I, I don't know a good way to show you this but when you when you close your hand your your thumb naturally kind of runs down like this so when you hold this knife the way it fits that slope that slope right there hopefully hopefully uh, you can see what I'm talking about there that slope for the blade let's see that slope for the blade right there your your thumb naturally wants to rest right there very good er er uh, er ergonomics on that I really like that I really do like that to be fair for a pocket knife which this is a pocket knife feels good only thing I don't like, there's no texturing on the top of the spine on this sweep right here. On this sweep, there's nothing. It's naked. So when you're, when you have your thumb up here, there's nothing to give you purchase. I mean, if they would have put some chimping up there, that would have been awesome. If they would, if they would have chimped the spine up here, to where your thumb could could have something to grab onto, I'm going to tell you something. This would be a really good little knife. I, it's, it's, this is this is a good little knife. an AUS eight steel. I don't have a problem with it. I've got several. I got a lot of knives that use AUS-8 steel. Don't have a problem with it. I like it. The more I sit here and look at this little knife, uh, I like it. Don't have a problem with it. Fifty-five ninety-eight. You guys are going to tell me if you can find it on Amazon cheaper. So yeah, but I tell you what, I really do like this knife. It's it, it, it's a cool little knife, and it, it has a pocket clip has a clip there on the side so yeah really like this knife awesome okay so this would have been what box this would have been the advanced box and this would have carried a fifty dollar price tag to me right as as a purchaser but they claim this has a hundred dollar value now they say just this knife is worth 55.98 so my 50 bucks Pretty much just paid for this knife and then uh let's see we got the hanky which man 21 bucks it's rough of course we got their morale patch which i think i got another one but i don't know what i did with it i don't know what i did with it 
Yeah, I don't know what I did with it. But I do like my neighborhood warlord, and I still, of course, got Dagger Cat hanging out there. And a lot of you guys comment on Dagger Cat right there. I really do, I really do like Dagger Cat. Dagger Cat's not going anywhere. And then uh, I got my Yoshi right here. So, yeah. All right. So, we got the UST Heritage little pocket knife for eight bucks, which, to be honest with you, I. I don't really have a use for this. The magnifier, I don't really have a use for it. So at the end of the day, what do you guys think about this box for 50 bucks? If this little knife right here carries anything close to a $50 price tag, I will consider the hanky and the knife to be, to me, what is valuable out of this box. The rest of this stuff could care less about. Let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think? Do you think this was a good box for 50 bucks? Do you think that this is garbage? I really do like this little knife. I'm not going to hate. I like the little knife. Well, like I said, guys, I will put up a subscription button over here, a next video over here. If you made it this far in the video, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate your support and listening to me ramble. Uh, apparently, I do that a lot in videos. But other than that, leave me some feedback. Let me know what you guys think about this uh, service. Do you think it's worth it? I'm kind of mixed on it. I'm going to probably give it a couple more boxes before I make a final decision. But other than that, I will see you in the next one. Peace.